shut down. Shut down. Triple kill. Quadra kill. Attention gamers! Before we get into this video that you will all promise to watch the entirety of I wanna give a little context you know under the hood see how the YouTuber sauce is made in last week's video I decided that putting a rather voluptuously uncensored amount of butt on the screen followed by a photoshopped masterpiece of Hitler's face over top of Ergot's body all in the first 60 seconds of the video was a good idea and YouTube was all like cool but you're gonna see your ad revenue about as much as Tom Brady sees his kids and that's also when I remembered the theme of the last presidential debate. It's inflation, inflation, and it's Inflation. Inflation. And since I'm trying to do this thing called adulting that requires paying bills and eating I was thrilled when this pig Latin encrypted company offered me this much to review their game. I said how about this much and they said deal you dumbass why don't you start by reacting to this dope trailer we have coming out. Please, let's not resort to violence. <sighs> Very well, so violence it is. This is why CrossFit athletes are the best. Aren't you fed up with cleaning up the gods' mess? Existing only to fight their battles. Send them my regards. <gasps> Alright so if you thought she said this is mother's, this is mother's Implying that this redhead who just stabbed her in a kind of romantic way is her brother Let me stop you because I listened to it 12 times so that you don't have to so that I can confirm she said this is madness This is mother's stop. As in him murdering her is not pleasant and she would prefer he not continue Is that a good react commentary? That was actually I was impressed <clears throat> Daddy? <laughs> Mid. Five hours later. Alright for those of you pig latin aficionados, the company keeping my channel funded when YouTube won is Raid Shadow Legends. As it's launching one of its biggest events to date. The Asgard Divide and let me tell you it is Eats Way. This ginger rogue stab yo sis guy from the epic Marvel quality trailer is Loki, one of four new Norse champions that can be collected in game. Norse, for you uncultured swines means this just so that you can say you learned something from Rav sponsored content but all four of these champs are legendary look like they have extremely high cold tolerance and Mr. Loki here can be collected for a limited time just by logging into the game on a few different days between now and October 23rd. It's kind of like that system where League of Legends makes you think they are rewarding you by putting you through the overly complex roulette disenchant wheel but there's no RNG and this guy's freaking staff glows. The others that look like distant relatives of Rav the Avatar can be collected through various in-game activities that I am currently knocking out on my phone while I'm in queue for my next round of pain and suffering but in this event you can also enter a new dungeon event and fight against the one and only Odin. The one and only Odin. Second important thing to note I told Adre if they want to sponsor me then there better be something in it for my viewers so if you are on Team Harambe you'll be happy to know you can enter promo code Monkey King to unlock fan favorite Sun Wukong. And let you tell me you will want to play as this dude. We're talking a kit that can steal buffs for enemies, a weapon that ignores targets defenses, and a self-revival which is completely unique to any champion as far as I know but note this code is only available for 72 hours after new players download the game with my link below so look at that kids, personalized perks of being a part of the RAV family. 
Now in honor of Halloween I will now talk a bit about my three favorite Halloween champs because I am a sucker for games that have holiday releases like how League used to do the winter map before they ripped my heart out of my chest. Starting with Madame Ceres this champ is the perfect combination of sorcery and sex appeal. Any gamer loves a big wide brimmed wizard hat you cannot deny it but visually 10 out of 10 with the staff and the Dr. Seuss Lululemon collab leggings the whole Matilda vibe going on I'm all about it but the best part of this champ is her raw power. You can see she is a consummate team player as her one ability flat out lowers defenses of enemies which is like the Rady Shady Alley to Mr. Swordsman's oop as it lets him just one shot a sucker. But she's not all about the support lifestyle if you get to know her you will see that she is fully capable of committing swift group homicides herself. Next we have Harvest Jack and look I'm not letting Raid put words in my mouth this guy feels like he sucks right off the bat. His abilities are pretty I'll give him that but I'm always egging for a fatty amount of damage and you aren't gonna get that with this dude because if you can look away from his 12 eyes for long enough you will see that he is one beefy beefcake and throwing him on rosters is a survival mechanism, one with a fantastic visual design at that. And lastly Rodos. This is the guy who Casper the ghost's girl told him not to worry about. This guy looks like if you took Orlando Bloom with all his freaking beauty and rolled him around in a bunch of blue bottle pop powder and then sent him to a boarding school taught by Davy Jones himself. I won't spoil the gameplay as I am trying to entice you guys to use my link below so that Raid helps me pay more of my bills in the future but if you are looking for strong attacks, Orlando Blue Bloom is your guy. Alright let's take a quick pit stop onto the game on my own account as you can see the first thing I always do is going into the guardian ring aka the daycare for champs I want to level up and I click these buttons and then go on with my day as they get stronger and I do no work. But we aren't here to look at my bastion and all the things I'm still working on unlocking, we are here for the dopamine releasing segment of this video. The summoning portal which is the proverbial open a pack of pokemon cards part of this game. These shards of different rarities is how you collect new champs and I save opening them for rare occasions, like making sponsored videos. Last time I showed how dank and busty of a babe you can get from summoning a legendary shard and some of the things people have pull from the orange boys is insane. Feel it, feel it. Hey, there you go. Ah! Uh, oh my on. god, could have pulled, there you oh. go. But my inventory is low so we are gonna roll the slot machines on blues and greens to see what we get. Death Knight that's the idiot in all the raid commercials who is a total meme. I'm not a champion, I'm... <sighs> I'm a joke. And a joke he is but that's why I've got more to summon and straight off the bat you can see and immediately get an improvement as we pulled a Cyberpunk 77 Archer out of the woodwork on attempt numero 2. Now if you are impatient and want to just speed run deplete your dopamine receptors I will sometimes do a bulk summon the load gems because time is money and I don't want to watch a bunch of death knight individual summons. But moving on to a blue boy right off the bat I'm happy to roll the chestboard looking dwarf but I want to call out here that this is a tank HP champ too but he has only 3700 health versus good old harvest jack who has like 10 times that so the bottom line is even if you are on the fence about playing raid, you might as well take advantage of the promo codes and events that give legendary champions because the power creep on them is insane and it makes stomping through the campaign way better than trying to build a roster around champs like this. Anyways I want to get slightly salesy here to say that I know this game gets a lot of flack from people who have never played it because of how many YouTubers they have sponsored and I used to roll my eyes too but the thing is once trying it you can see how it's actually kind of satisfying to slowly build a better roster, get further in the campaign, and basically have a digital collection of something on your phone to give you joy. I'm grateful to Raid for helping me keep making videos because without them it would be tough so please try the game with my link below or from this QR code and get Loki by logging in a few days, use the Monkey King promo code in the first 3 days to get Wukong, and join my clan play some Raid with me to thank them for their support and with that I will leave you with me trying to do something stupid and that is soloing the Odin boss event that's intended for 5 players with just my single favorite champ on my roster and a level 2 legendary that I got from a shard to show off his power.
Rav out.